You ever had that feeling like you just can't do nothing right and you know you're feeling lonely and you're feeling like you know you have a lot of people around you but you still experience loneliness and uh, that's kind of what I felt. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Banking the Artist and uh, it's your first time your boy going one on one on the camera like this and I just want to start off by saying what's going on? Happy New Year's to everybody out there and uh, we're bringing in February and uh, I wanted to give you guys a little life update and let you guys know what I've been doing and what I've been working on and uh, see if anyone wants to join because we might do this together and end the year off right. So check this out. I did a poll on uh, in my Instagram on my Instagram live and or on my Instagram reels and I wanted to share some of the results with you guys at Black Men's Initiative in Atlanta, Georgia. Just a regular member. We had a, um, a Black Men's Roundtable talk, you know, which I encourage you guys to come out. You know, if you need the details on it, just contact me. And uh, we did we did a, a, a poll. In this poll, most of the people said there are two characteristics that there was that everyone kept mentioning that were important to make a man a man and uh, one of them was loyal right and disciplined right loyal and disciplined those are the two major things that people are saying it takes to be a man and if you don't have discipline if you don't have discipline are you a man questions answered on the comments below anyway guys we're back um, you ever had that feeling that you're just not living up to your purpose and you feel like you're made for more, you know, like you want more, you know, and, um, you know, I had an addiction to, uh, things, just this reaction of dopamine in my mind, um, you know, a lot of weed, a lot of alcohol, um, you know, not loving myself enough, you know, um, you know, even started developing an addiction to corn and, uh, you know things that just were of this world and you know and um i had to step back and decide you know what i'm i'm in control of this i'm in control of my life i'm the one who's ultimately can decide how i want to live this life you know and um i started off the year on a 21 day fast uh 21 day fast and i'm telling you <laughs> it was not easy <laughs> it was not easy um and you know i navigated through my doubts and challenges like through my fast you know um i you know i had a few mentors and like you know like personal time to reflect on myself and uh, just think and and uh you know kind of open up and seeing what i was going through you know and in those things it gave me growth and transformation and um, I would like to explain one of one 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 of my biggest growth points was uh, my spiritual growth. Um, and on my spiritual growth, um, you know, I found myself I found myself uh, kind of going to God and speaking to Him about the things that I was facing, the things that I was challenging, and um, it was not easy. You know, it was not easy, but uh, I knew that for me to go to this, I have to go and, you know, do things that were not easy. I had to go and face my challenges, you know, and uh, which required discipline, you know, and uh, discipline was discipline was kind of like the biggest word for me in this January. Um, and, uh, you know, I was disappointed. I felt I felt I felt. I was disappointed. I felt finished. I felt like I wasn't worth anything. I felt like, you know, I was toxic to the people around me. You know, my mind was clouded. Every time that, you know, something would happen, I would just revert back to, go, let me go smoke a blunt. Let me, let me go, you know, go drink some alcohol or things like that. You know, it's just so I can forget about it, you know, and not think about it, you know, and I did not realize that I was pushing myself backwards. I was taking myself backwards. And, um, you know, got to a point where I was smoking an ounce every four days. And, you know, um, I'm seeing some of my friends go through, you know, some situations, real deal situations. And um, it became difficult. You know, it was dark. I felt like as if um, 
I had my own personal cloud just hovering over me, you know, and it was just storming, even when the sun was out, you know, even when the sun was shining bright, every day was so great, um, but through my spiritual growth and, you know, getting closer to God and, um, going through my devotion and things like that, I started to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, I started to see that maybe I am worth something, maybe I am more than who, you know, who I thought that I was, you know, and um, just getting out of those clouded areas, and I use that for praying and uh, doing my daily devotions, you know, my daily devotions and praying. Um, previously, I thought I knew how to pray, you know, someone coming from a church, you know, someone who grew up in a church background, you know, I never knew that I did not know how to play, uh, to pray, <laughs> sorry guys, to pray, and um it's play, played a huge role for me, you know what I'm saying? It played a huge role in my community, you know? And uh, going to find places where I can go and be vulnerable, you know? Before I was before I was vulnerable to the devil, you know? But now I'm vulnerable to God, you know? And just changing that has been a big aspect in my life. And, um, you know, I wanted to share my experience and and uh, connect with other people who have the same the same belief. You know, um, and you know, start new relationships and new relationships based in Christ. You know, um, even business, new business and things like that based in Christ. And um, you know, that's just kind of what's going on in my present state. Uh, my current belief right now is. Um, you know, I know that I am a child of God and I'm beautifully and wonderfully made within his image. I am a child of God and I'm beautifully and wonderfully made in his image. And, you know, um, and should I have a change of heart? Yes. You know, I've learned how to have a change of heart. I've learned how to forgive those who have wronged me, you know. And even when they don't know that they have wronged me, you know, I have, I've learned how to be more vocal. I've learned how to be, you know, letting them know, hey, I didn't like the way this happened. You know, I didn't like how this situation was, right? And be vocal about it because that's how, that's how we develop healthy friendships, healthy boundaries, you know. Um, and all this brought me a big huge amount of clarity that I needed in my life um, even what I'm doing right now this is this is something that I would never have done you know getting in front of the camera and speaking and just going one-on-one -on -one with you guys I would have never been in this situation if it wasn't for the place and the headspace that I'm in right now I've learned forgiveness I've learned how to be patient I've learned I've learned, you know, how to be timid in some situations where I could have gotten upset and I could have got mad and, and, you know, blacked out, did something that wasn't, you know, maybe would have judged my character, but that was not the case, you know. I've learned how to be more timid. I've learned so many great things and also learned the power of manifestation, right? And that's why I'm bringing the next thing because in just this year, just the beginning of this year of 2024, um, I've gotten a chance to manifest some of the things that you know i would have wanted to do in my life you know i've seen <laughs> i've seen things just take a dramatic change you know and um when you're in this space and learn about discipline and things like that sometimes you don't understand you enter rooms that you're not qualified to be in you know you enter rooms that you didn't think you were qualified to be in and guess what you enter those as yourself and you enter those and be like you are in the right rooms you know um in terms of manifestation man manifestation you know god has blessed me you know like working on my vehicle you know building bonds that were in the past and and even forgiving bonds you know and um even going to my new place um as you see here this is just my setup for for the day we're gonna be you know we're gonna be moving this setup to a whole new lo location and things like that and this is all just a part of the plan this is just all a part of god's huge grand plan you know um and uh not just not just moving into a new place um i have a music label in kenya called rampage unit studios and they're also going to be doing big things coming this year you know we have a bunch of new equipment so we have a bunch of new and fresh talent and these are things that i've 
gotten to learn how to speak to God about it, ask him to answer some of my prayers. And you know what? And now I feel like I am a walking testimony. I feel like a walking testimony, you know? Um, but anyway, YouTube, I didn't want to make this video long and I want to just express my gratitude and um, on this journey and the growth that has brought me. And I want to thank my viewers for being a part of this experience and um, and also the encouragement you guys have been. You know, I don't think I'll be this far if you guys did encourage me the way you guys did. And, um, and I just want to remind everybody that, you know, you're not in this alone. You know, you are worthy. If you're still here, you are worthy. You are worthy of something. And yes, of course, this journey is unique. And I mean, for, to me personally, this journey, my faith journey is unique and it's constantly evolving, constantly, you know? But guess what? I'm staying strong and I'm staying steadfast. Um, and um, I wanted to say thank you so much. And if you're my page and you haven't got a chance, subscribe below, right? Send me a message. I love you and God bless. <laughs> Overcome fear, overcome fear. Listen what I tell you today. No shit a tear, no shit a tear. When you get it, they gon' stay. Run me up a bag, then I put it. I'm tryna make myself a.